Hello, my name is Mike Gonzalez. I'm with uh, Champion Home Inspection to present a short video on uh, things that you might see on a daily basis. Here we are in a home that was built approximately 1982 with a drive under garage. And uh, I'm sure you all have seen this often. When you have a drive under garage with open framing through the rest of the habitable portions of the house, that was accepted common construction back in the time, but by today's standards, a fire barrier is required to separating the garage from the rest of the structure. And those codes came about because of uh, failure of car cruise controls causing fires in the middle of the night, and essentially burning down the home when people are live in the home sleeping. And yeah, some of the other risks are the carbon monoxide or gasoline fumes or other harmful chemicals that come from automobiles entering the, the home. Quite often when you see this, your buyers don't have an idea of what they need to do. Now realistically, since codes are grandfathered, nothing needs to be done. But if it's truly a concern, the only practical remedy would be to install a sprinkler system. If you were to install a complete fire barrier, the drywall would be way too low. And by placing it above the ducting, the ducting itself creates a breach in that firewall. So really, the most practical thing to do is installing a sprinkler system from an economical and ease of installation point of view. My experiences uh, as an ASHI inspector go back to uh, my degree in uh, horticulture. I've got uh, military experience. I've got a lot of experience working from manufacturers. I've sold concrete, concrete reinforcing products, fasteners, uh, residential lighting. From that perspective, I like to view things from how they were supposed to be installed by the manufacturer. Sometimes there are discrepancies between what the code says and what the manufacturer says. And it's always defaults to the manufacturer's recommended installations.